Hello everyone and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is Tuesday. It is August 25th and I'm starting this today because I've been struggling with trying to get to work for six o'clock in the morning. Now yesterday was the first day and I seem to be okay. I got up at 3 30 in the morning. I got ready, got into my day, kind of relaxed before I could go and leave the house um, by 5, 5.15. Yes, I know, people are wondering, why do you get up at 3.30 in the morning if you don't have to leave until 5, 5.15? Because I'm one of those types of people that need to get up, relax, and ease into my day. So, I'm not one that can just get up, take a shower, make myself a tea, and run out the door. Because I will forget something, and... My day won't start well and it won't end well either but anyway then there came to this morning i ended up falling asleep yesterday at 9 30 at night i took my kobo into or my kobo my kindle uh my kindle into bed with me and i fell asleep So, according to my Fitbit, I fell asleep at 9.30, and I woke up just before 1 o'clock in the morning, and I couldn't get back to sleep. And I was up for another two hours, so I went back to bed at 3. My alarm clock went off at 3.30, and my body did not realize that it was my alarm clock went off. So, I overslept today. Uh, yeah. I did get up at four, so I did get to uh, ease into my day again, uh, just not as nicely as I did the day before. And because I only, I think it says I, I got less than four hours of sleep last night, four, yeah, something like that. Anyway. I was supposed to be at work from 6 to 10, and I was going to leave at 10. Um, and then, of course, I was getting all my stuff together, and I had gotten all everything ready to, to go home other than I didn't punch out. And they're like, oh, you know, Linda, can you stay? I, I meant to ask you to stay. So I ended up, they wanted me to stay an extra hour and uh, because I was uh, with a girl that uh, is training. Uh, I ended up staying for another half an hour more than that because uh, the transaction she was dealing with was very, very complicated. But that's okay. Um, yeah, so I was a little later in putting up um, tweets and Instagram and sharing uh, the read along or the read a thon that I'm doing with Nikki over at I underscore read past my bedtime. So it's the step right up a thon. I'm so glad that we're doing it again this year and it's so exciting that it is a dark theme and I'm so fucking bored to it. Her video is so well done. I was so impressed. She just really has a knack for doing things spooky and just she's her enthusiasm comes out so well where uh, mine doesn't. <laughs> mine I, I don't have any of that creative um inspiration that she does to to do things like that i may be able to come up with ideas but my ideas don't come across on uh video as well as hers does but oh my goodness if you haven't seen it you really need to see it um i hope you guys can um join in on the readathon it's uh, again running from uh, september 14th to till the 27th and we'll have a live show on the 27th because we have a group read and of course we'd like to discuss group reads and anything else that you would like to talk about so yes i'm super excited to see how many people watch that video and to just get it out and getting all the um, enthusiasm that went with that so now to my reading and what i've been reading so i have finished the fourth book in the Lockwood and Company, 
that was the creeping shadow creeping shadow um oops the creeping shadow that's right and of course i read that after i read book five but now five makes a little more sense <laughs> and i now understand why i thought i missed things because i didn't read book four I'm still uh, reading on my Kindle. I am reading Crowns of Croswald on here because my phone was just, it wasn't, a, it was too small for me. So I'm reading it on here. I'm about 60% done, so that's great. I'm gonna continue reading that um, tonight as well. I still need to get to this one. Um, the Hummingbird Dagger, because it's on my TBR as well the only one that I haven't started that was on my TBR and like I said it's the 25th so I don't have what six days left I don't have a lot of time for that um I haven't read Well of Ascension um and yeah I've got a lot read this month but my short TBR uh, I haven't finished and I got a notification from the library that my lab library books are due. I thought they were due tomorrow, but they're actually due on Friday. But I'm going to go bring security back um, tomorrow since I'm off. And um, I'm going to try to renew Capturing the Devil because I haven't started it at all. And that's not good. But anyway, I'm trying to get that done. And, you know, trying to get myself going because of being so tired from not sleeping very well. Um, I think I've already taken a nap again today because I think I took a nap yesterday too, which was probably why I didn't sleep last night. Um, so not really good to take a nap. Um, but let's hopefully not do that. Let's get some stuff done. I'm going to get up and do some stuff around here. Um, just because I think reading right now will put me to sleep and we don't want to sleep right now. Oh goodness. Yeah. Every day this week I'm up, I'm starting at, at six, except for Saturdays. Of course we don't start at six o'clock and, um, Thursday I start at seven. So really it's going to be, um, an interesting week. We don't have our schedule for next week, so I have no idea what shifts I'll have next week. <sighs> but it's, it's been interesting. I have to go out and I have to water up my tomato plant because it, um, it's starting to die. <laughs> because I haven't watered it a lot because um, my neighbor had overwatered it, so it wasn't, they weren't turning um, red. And stuff so I need to go do that because the leaves are starting to dry out and it really needs to be watered I mean we have been getting some rain and um, it kind of looks like it's gonna rain again now but it is so dried out that I really need to do that and I've been neglecting it and that's not fun it's not fair to that plant for me to neglect it but anyway that's what I'm gonna do I still have to get uh, my TBR settled for the step right up a thon <laughs> I'm going to try to put a book per prompt, so five books, five prompts, five books, um, but ask me, you don't have to do that because as I said, the group in my video, the group read hits every single prompt, so there you go, one book and you've hit all five prompts um, and it'd probably be quite easy to do that in this because some of the prompts are... Um, like read a mystery thriller or um, horror book and there's one that says um, a book read a book that has a death a murder or a missing person in it so that could be combined right there or there's another one that says uh, read a book with black on the cover because I mean how many books don't have black on the cover and honestly, you can stretch that any way that you'd like. If it's black underneath the cover, that works as well. 
it's all the same it all works out but anyway I'm gonna think about that as well and then I'm just gonna figure out what to do for tomorrow because I'm going to not sleep in because if I sleep in I'm going to screw up the rest of my week so I'm gonna try to get up at normal time not 3 30 in the morning because that's that's just uh, not right for me to do on my day off and <laughs> so hopefully I'll be up by six or seven o'clock probably about six and uh, get started from there and see what I can read and see how much more of this book that I can read this I think is probably one of the best things I've bought recently um, so super excited to buy that I'm super excited about everything lately I don't know but anyway that's what I'm gonna do I hope you're having a good start to the week I hope that you're reading a great book and I will see you again tomorrow hi guys it's Thursday August 27th and yeah, I've been having again still uh, an interesting work week um, I get home from work and I'm exhausted this I have to really get used to this six o'clock in the morning and by that time I get used to it we're gonna probably go back to seven to seven so yeah it's just anyway next week I don't I have closing so I'm like 12 to 6 so that lets me sleep in a little bit or at least not wake up at 3 30 in the morning but that's okay this is not a work vlog it's a reading vlog and I want to catch you up on what I've been doing so Yesterday I finished Crowns of Coswald. Um, still putting my thoughts together to do that review. Um, I enjoyed that book. It did take me a little time to get into it, but I enjoyed it. Um, I have started The Hummingbird Dagger by Cindy Anstey, and um, I'm not, what, I, I haven't got that far into it. I think I'm on I'm on chapter six. Um yeah it's kind of giving you um ideas of what's going on. I have a funny feeling my thoughts might not be exactly what's going on because usually when you have thoughts at the beginning of the book it's not usually what ends up happening so yeah we'll see we'll see this is the last book on my tbr that i need to get done before the end of the month so hopefully i can get it done by monday because monday is 31st right um yeah i started an audiobook today on my way home from work and it was The Secret Messenger. It's a World War II historical fiction set in Italy actually which is different than where it's usually set. Usually it's like Paris or, or London or stuff like that. So you get of course the two timelines. Um, so you have the, the mother, the grandparents, that kind of thing back in uh, World War II and then you have the daughter, granddaughter trying to figure out what she didn't know about her her family. So, so far so good. I think actually I got halfway through because I came home and I tried to do some stuff around here. So I was listening to it while I was uh, cleaning up. And um, yeah, and then while I was listening to it, I sat down and I've fallen asleep. So I had to go back and <laughs> reread some stuff because, well, reread, I didn't even listen to it, so, because I slept, I slept for about an hour. Um, but yeah, but I'm still about halfway through that. I am now watching the Dresden Files uh, TV series, because it's on Amazon Prime, but it says there's only five days left, and I only now picked it up just to see how different it was from um, the books. And of course, since it was, um, filmed in Toronto and I used to live in Toronto a while ago a long time ago actually now um, it's nice to see different places or um, different places that I still visit um, or I know about and yeah yeah it's, it's, 
not the best series because they've taken liberty with a whole bunch of things. So I would say the book is better and definitely the audiobook is a lot better. But um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, they changed one of the characters a bit and I don't know if I like that yet just because I really liked her character in the book and that makes it difficult for me to get around the changes. I would probably enjoy the changes once I get through this. Uh, I think I'm on episode six right now so because she's already starting to grow on me. Yeah. So there you go. So things are happening and um, you know yeah, there's certain things that just are, they have to be different because you can't film like the book and it just is uh, irritating to somebody who enjoys the book so much and now I have to get used to something else. But I will get over that because, you know, nobody likes change, really. So, but yeah, I'm going to go back to watching that. I'm going to read The Hummingbird dagger I returned my audio oh my, I returned my library book to the library today uh, security because I finished that one and I put another hold on um, capturing the devil I haven't even started that one so I've got to start that one as well and yeah that's what I'm going to be doing it's bloody hot today it, they said there was this morning when I woke up they said no rain today and then when I was coming home after dropping off the um, the book at the library and I dropped off at the grocery store, it was so muggy and so humid and just so hot that I didn't even go out and barbecue and I bought myself ribs to barbecue. So it'll have to wait till tomorrow or Saturday or something like that. And yeah, like now there's a breeze, but it was so stifling hot. It's just ridiculous. I don't know what's going on with this weather because it's up and down. It was cold yesterday on my day off, like cold, that um, you couldn't even have the window open. It was just chilly. And um, today, it's very, very hot. <laughs> Stifling hot, actually. Um, anyway. I'm going to get going and watch the Dresden Files. I'm going to continue watching the Dresden Files and then I'm going to get reading because it's 7 o'clock and it's almost time for me to go to bed because um, I work again at 6 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Anyway, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Hi everyone, it is Saturday. It is August 29th. And yep, I was going to catch you up yesterday, but this week has killed me. I know I've said this before, but I've been so tired. Like I'm even struggling to stay awake right now as I'm filming this. I came home, I had dinner, and literally I just want to fall asleep. So that's not good. I'm going to go and make myself some tea after we are done chatting here right now. Um, so what have I been doing? I finished my audiobook. Uh, the Secret Messenger by Mandy Robottom. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It was uh, very good. I do love my historical fiction. And um, I think a lot of the World War II historical fiction um, I like because there's always something good that comes out of something bad. Not entirely through the whole book but at least part some bit of it does and um yeah I think that's what I like about it the most but I think I should be reading some other historical fiction books um because I keep listening to um Julie at the Hungry Bookworm and um Lil do their live on Instagram and they're constantly talking about the Tudors. And I think um, they've got me curious uh, to learn more about them. And yeah, 
So we will see what happens there. Hopefully that will come in a little later on, maybe a few months, maybe next month. They're having um, uh, Tudor Temper, so I will probably learn a lot about the Tudors uh, in September. So that would be great. Um, I haven't gotten any videos done. I haven't gotten any photos done for Instagram. I'm just a total mess, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> it will pass. It will pass and I will get productive and I'll get back into uh, the groove of things. And hopefully since uh, the six o'clock in the morning days are only until the end of September, hopefully, that um, I don't have too many more of those. And yeah, we will see. I am still reading um, The Hummingbird Dagger. Now, this, I don't know what's wrong with me. Ah, I'm reading a breakfast scene. And now this takes place in 1833. So I'm I'm reading a breakfast scene between um, three or four characters because at one point it's three and then it's four and I don't know what it is but I keep thinking about the breakfast scenes and the dinner scenes of Downton Abbey. I don't know it's just picturing in my head I mean it's not even the same people, but I'm picturing oh, the dining uh, room in Downton Abbey while I'm reading it. Okay, yes, I do love Downton Abbey, but this is, this is not Downton Abbey. I mean, yes, there is a lord in here, a lord Elderby, and uh, yes, <laughs> He, he, you know, he has uh, an estate and, uh, yeah. But last night I was reading it and that was all that kept going through my head at that, that one scene. So I'm not sure if that'll continue <laughs> through this, but I mean, yeah. I'm enjoying it though. So, yes. I have no other um, audiobooks yet, but my script should be, um, my new month should be starting on script. So, yeah, maybe I'll find something later because I did not listen to anything in the car ride to or from work. Um, I don't know. It, it. There we go. It's finally coming back. Um, but anyway, we will see. I'm I'm waiting for a whole bunch of uh, audiobooks from the library. I trying to read the ebook of a Small Favor, which is um, a book. 10 in the Dresden Files and hopefully I think I have the next one after that turncoat coming at the beginning of September so hopefully I can get that done yeah who knows hopefully 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 um yeah I have lots of stuff to do for tomorrow um yeah. there's lots of stuff that needs to be done here on top of laundry and all that other stuff. So I'm going to go and make myself a cup of tea and then I'm going to be reading the hummingbird dagger. The hummingbird dagger. So yes, I have my thoughts about this book. I think I told you that the last time. Um, kind of thinking I get something I think I'm understanding it, but I have a funny feeling, like I said before, that I have no clue what's coming on, what's going on. But I mean, I'm only on chapter eight. Like, 
literally where my I'm not even 90 pages in like yeah no but I really do love this cover and and better and um I need to put this one on Instagram because this is incredible but anyway I digress and um yeah I still have to make my second TBR for September I have some videos to film I got a lot to do um yeah and I think I'm off Tuesday so I hope I'm off Tuesday because I made an appointment for Tuesday so let's let's hope I'm right <laughs> I'm going to get going right now, and I will definitely see you guys again tomorrow. Well, guys, it's Sunday. It's the end of this reading vlog. It's almost the end of August. It's August 30th today. And yes, I'm sorry I did not catch you up with what was going on yesterday. At least I don't think I did. I was so tired yesterday. I don't think remember too much of yesterday. I don't think I did, but um, yes, anyway. It's late, as you can tell, by the look of this picture. <laughs> um, it's kind of dark. It's uh, quarter to eight, I believe. Um, yeah, quarter to eight. So I just wanted to let you know that I finished The Crowns of Cros Croswald, and I put up um, all my reviews today. Yeah, I really enjoyed that one, and I've already downloaded um, book two onto my Kindle. Yay, thank goodness I bought a Kindle. I know, I was super excited the last vlog, and I really do like it. Uh, you know, I thought ebooks were different because I guess I was reading on my phone, and I was reading a long while ago on my iPad because I only have like an iPad 2, and I haven't used it in a, quite a long time. Um, but yes, the... This was great. It looks a lot different than reading on um, on my iPad, and especially on my phone. It's very hard to read on my phone. But yes, I took off the dust jacket to um, the hummingbird dagger because um, I was damaging it. Um, I am more than halfway through this. I'm on page 238. We're starting to get to what was happening. Um, so I, I can't wait to finish and I'm trying to get this done, of course, before the end of August, which leaves today and tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I was doing. Um, I'm still kind of reading small favor um, in the Dresden Files book 10. I'm reading it on my phone because it's from the library and it's it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe ebooks are going to become uh, not a new, uh, a new favorite. I don't know if I'm going to really, I know whenever people ask you physical or ebook, I'm always physical books and I will always probably be. Um, yes. Cause, um, yeah. Taking Instagram photos with an ebook reader is slightly, you need to get more creative um, because it's in black and white and yeah. But anyway, that's what I was doing. I did finish watching season one of the Dred Dresden Files on Prime, Amazon Prime, uh, the other day. I don't think I mentioned that to you. And yeah. <laughs> It just reminded me of uh, nine, uh, in the eight, the 80s uh, Canadian uh, television shows. Yeah. And uh, uh, Yannick Bisson, who is Detective Murdoch on Murdoch Mysteries, is in one of those episodes, and he is a lot younger than it, he is now. Um, don't worry. He's roughly my age, so... It all works out, but I think the Dresden Files were done in 2007, so we're talking about quite a number of years ago. It's like 13 years. <laughs> um, goodness, I moved in here in 2007. Wow, and I'm getting a little darker. Um, yeah, so 
as long as I finish this, I've read just about everything on my TBR, except for, except for Well of Ascension, because I don't know what happened, but I didn't finish reading Well of Ascension. I think I read a couple of chapters at the beginning of the month, and then you know what? I just didn't pick it up anymore. And I feel bad because it's a buddy read, but I'm not even sure if Emily was reading it. We kind of um, haven't talked about it for a while. I think we're both struggling. I'm hoping we're both struggling because I feel bad if it was just me. Um, but yeah, and I still have to um, start start this one because I've renewed it at the library and I think it's due soon. Because I renewed it, but I think it's due the middle of September. Yeah, anyway, I know. I always stop talking when people are coming out of the building because um, my window's open and people can hear me. And you know, I'm just uh, nervous and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, the cats are sitting here with me and uh, we're going to relax and have uh, a good rest of the evening. I'm going to try to put up, edit this vlog and put it up so that it goes out tomorrow. And I'm losing light faster than I can talk. So I'm going to wish you guys all a great week. I hope you had a wonderful week. I hope you read some really great books. And I will see you again next week.